Was that the song that you used to sing? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Well, how old are you now, sir? I'm 55 now. Has he aged rather a lot? Yes. Is that because of the twos and threes? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and stress, stress. Well, that's certainly mm. true. Now, the point was mm -hmm. that that little song that he used to sing, yes. that little charming ditty yes. that, he used to, that he used to say as he came into your salon, yeah. turned out to be true. Yes, yes, it didn't take me long to well, find it, out. What do you mean it didn't take you long, madam? Yeah, because madam, I... he came in and confessed <laughs> in poetry. I didn't know. <laughs> Madam, know. just pause for a second. I didn't know at the You time. didn't have to be the hairdresser's was, answer to Sherlock Holmes. I was so <laughs> naive. I was he came naive. in and he said to you... Yes. Madam, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you're doing hair, I'm having an affair. Do you understand? <laughs> that's a good one. That's, a good, that's exactly how it is. Yes, but you said it didn't take me long. <sighs> for, me to, for the girl to phone me and then tell me that she's having an affair with him. She phoned me. Well, she did. Yes. Yes? Then Don't do my curl, I'm the other girl. <laughs> <laughs> More like that. Exactly that. The point was that mm. it was quite clear, and I think Fred admits it in fairness to Yes, him, he did. ...that you had an infidelity and that mm. the relationship was not sustainable. Yeah. But here was the interesting thing, and mm -hmm. I have to say, mm -hmm. having read about the two of you, I give both of you enormous credit for this. Yeah. Because I don't see this in my court all the time. Yes. Despite the fact that it might not have been easy at the beginning, the two mm. of you, after a period of time, remained amicable. Yes, we do. Well, not everybody does that. OK. And you were especially mm -hmm. careful mm -hmm. in your relationship mm -hmm. because it mattered when bringing up your son. Yes. And he was there for your son. Oh, yes. I don't always see that, madam, yeah. you see. OK. And the two of you decided that whatever your antipathy towards him mm -hmm. and vice versa, mm -hmm. you would maintain a reasonable relationship yes. with each other. Yes. And, in fact, eventually, after that initial period, mm -hmm. it built into something of a friendship, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's even after you got your official divorce? Yes. Well, madam, I'd like everybody to see that because okay. it results yeah. in better and more healthy children. Yes. Tell me about how old is your son now? He's, today is his birthday, actually. He's oh. 21 today. May I ask what he's doing these days? Um, he's actually at my house, at my flat at the moment. He's come, come home from university to have his hair done. University? Yes, he What's is. he studying at university? To be an investment banker. No, he's yeah. doing business and... Yeah. Business and um, he's at university doing business and finance. Yeah, finance he's yeah. an excellent young man. Yes, he is. And part of the reason he's an excellent young yeah. man is because mm -hmm. I've got two excellent parents. Oh, good, yes. You understand? Yes. Who decided that even though they may not like each other... That's right. ..what mattered more was bringing up their my son. son. Well, madam... I'm just trying to say that because not everybody does it. OK. Now, let's fast forward. 2015, mm -hmm. you'd gone from being Jack the Lad, mm -hmm. from... I'm speaking to him now. <laughs> I enjoy the echo, but I'm just <laughs> trying to speak to Fred. <laughs> Point is this. You'd gone from being very successful, mm -hmm. from having a series of businesses which gave you not necessarily the greatest, mm -hmm. but a substantial income, mm -hmm. to things going rather horribly wrong for you, correct? That's right. What happened in 2015? Well, it was 2014 that I took on a new club. It was a bigger club. Now, it was a bigger club, but it's fair to say that you made a series of, for you, uncharacteristic errors when you took on that club. Yes. What were they, please? Well, first of all, it had lost its licence. It was... and it was under appeal. You thought, being an experienced club owner, mm -hmm. that you'd be able to take over that club and get the licence, given your track yes, record. Yes, turning it around, yeah. Understood. So you bought the club, in effect... Yeah. ..without necessarily ensuring that you had the licence, correct? That's right. And with a nightclub, it's not just the licence you need, you need the music and late-night licence. That's correct. So you bought it on spec. Yes. What happened? Well, um, as we got closer to the court date for the appeal, uh, um, we spoke to a, a, a barrister. And I remember he Never was... a wise idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Very wise idea in licensing. Yeah. yeah, so... I remember him saying that uh, if we went to court to, to, to challenge against the licence, it, it was the equivalent of us going to fight a war with a, with a, a, a water pistol. So it, oh, dear. So we had no chance. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.